Welcome to Alex G's Aquarium everybody. Today I've got a DIY project I want to share. This is an F Aptasia syringe extension tool. Like most reef aquarium hobbyists, I have got Aptasia in my aquarium system. And while I use different biological means to control those Aptasia, there's always some that kind of sneak away from that biological control and need some manual intervention, which is when I use a product like F Aptasia. However, with a 4200 gallon display, there's one major problem. There is no way for me to reach the bottom and get to those Aptasia with this little syringe unless I were to go for a swim, which as fun as that sounds is really not fun. And I'd only do that in some kind of dire emergency. Therefore, I need tools like this one to help me complete this job, make it easy to get done. So today, I'm going to walk you through how to make this F Aptasia syringe extension tool. I used parts that I had sitting around my basement, but I put up a list of materials on the screen along with all the tools that are needed to do this, or at least the tools that I use. I've linked products in the description below along with the 3D printer files. Now, if you don't have a 3D printer, that's okay. I'll discuss some alternate materials you could use if you don't have access to a 3D printer. So let's go ahead, get started on this DIY project. Now, the first step that you want to take here is a measurement. Now, if you have a standard F Aptasia syringe, this measurement should work for you. But we want to measure the travel distance of the plunger on the syringe. So from where it starts at the beginning here to the end, I've got that measurement up on the screen. Go ahead, you can write it down, or I'll put it up on the screen again when we get to the part where this is useful. If you have a different size syringe that you're going to use for this project, just take that measurement, put it on the side. It's something that you're going to need later on with this project. Now the next step here is we need to hold this syringe, and just like you would hold the syringe with two fingers, we are going to replicate that with a piece of PVC. I've got a half inch male threaded to slip connection here. It's a pretty standard PVC fitting you can get at your local hardware store. And what I found is that the syringe fits pretty nice. So there it's a little bit loose, but that's okay. That's just fine. So what you want to do is take your syringe and just kind of hold it in place roughly. Put a pencil line on either side of this or a little marker line. Then you want to take the syringe out, put a clamp onto your PVC part, and then we're going to use a little saw to just cut down each one of those lines and you're trying to make it for the widest part of the syringe. So once you've gone through and cut those pieces you want to go ahead take a pair of pliers snap those pieces of PVC out and there might be some sharp edges or rough pieces there and you could use a file sandpaper or a drill bit or a dremel tool to go ahead and just remove those sharp edges. Now once you're done the syringe should fit into this. Now, it's okay if it isn't flat and it moves around side to side. That's okay. Matter of fact, it might actually help you a little bit when you're using this tool. It'll give you a little bit of an angle with it. This syringe holder part is now complete. We want to take this part with the syringe in it. Just kind of line it up that way. And then we're going to take a female thread fitting to another slip. And you're going to simply put it on here. Now, it's real easy to cross thread it because you've pulled some of these threads out. What you want to do is just go ahead and start threading that on there nice and gentle. As soon as it starts to get a little bit tight, you go ahead and just stop. The only thing this is doing is just holding this syringe in place. Every time you need to refill the syringe, you're going to have to unscrew this part. But we need it as a reference for right now. So now the syringe holder is complete. It's time to make the extension. The next thing you need to do is get the extension piece of PVC ready. You could use any length of half inch PVC for this that you desire. I have this piece here that I'm using. And all I would suggest you do is you make it a little bit longer than you need it by a few inches. There might be some trimming necessary um, as we get to final assembly. But once you have your appro approximate length, just go ahead Stick it on here. You can leave the syringe on here if you want. Just kind of push it in. And then once it's on there, just tap it on a hard surface floor. Preferably you should do this on a cement floor or outside on some sidewalk as you don't want to dent up your house floor. With that, 
The extension is complete, so we now have a syringe holder, an extension piece. We now need to get the plunger pusher assembly completed. And for this, I am going to be using the fiberglass rods that I have linked in the description. I got these on Amazon. Originally, I used them for aquascaping in the 4200 gallon display. I had some left over and they worked out perfect for this DIY project. This is also where I used my 3D printed parts. There's three of them in total. First one goes on the end. This is to ensure when you are pushing on the plunger that you actually will push it. The fiberglass rods are pretty thin diameter. If you don't have something on here to make it a little bit wider, you might push the fiberglass rod past the plunger and it just might not work. The next piece is a coupler. If you have more than one fiberglass rod, you can couple them together like this. And then the final piece is a little end cap so that you can push on this comfortably with your thumb or your fingers while you're holding the syringe extension to plunger pusher should probably be a little bit longer than the piece of PVC that you have. What we're going to be doing is, is simply inserting this onto the end at a minimum is the distance of the plunger to be the distance between the end here and your PVC. Now I like to get it pretty close and the reason for me is that when I'm using this tool, if I'm pushing down on this, I know how much product is left in my syringe without having to pick it up and take a look at it. So if I get down to the end here, I have completed using the product in the syringe and it's time to do a refill. And this is pretty simple. All you need to do, unscrew it. There should just be a few threads on there. Once you're done, we're gonna go ahead pull the syringe out, refill it with your product, put it back in. Now, something I've noticed with this is sometimes the plunger pusher gets a little stuck on the inside of this PVC fit. Just put your finger in there, push it back slightly. Then you just go ahead, screw this back on. Once again, make sure you're not cross threading. And as soon as you feel it start to get a little tight, you're done. And you are once again ready to go after Aptasia in your aquarium. That is it for the F Aptasia syringe extension tool. I will also mention this is a scalable project. So if you have a larger size of syringe for a different product or maybe your target feeding, you can do the same exact thing. You just have to scale it up to the size syringe that you have. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you have comments or questions, go ahead, please leave them down below. If you like today's video, go ahead, and give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more, please hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching everybody, and I'll see you on the next video.